Well, welcome back. How are you feeling this fight week? Oh, feeling great, man. So happy to be here. What was that time off f like for you? Was it hard to kind of stay motivated? Were you trying to find fights? What was going on during the time off? Uh, I was, yeah, I was kind of frustrated in the beginning, you know, I was trying to fight, trying to fight, and some, so many things was, was happening, you know, I was injuring myself, but, but, oh, yeah, I was good, I was training, you know, not that bad, <laughs> the times go fast, so you don't realize it's like, it's just going, you know. So what were your first thoughts when you heard about this fight, the location, the opponent, all that stuff? One more bonus, one more knockout. That was my thought, you know. So, like I said, I live in my dream. So, so happy to be here. Yeah. What are you expecting from him in there? I'm sorry? What are you expecting from him? What, do you, what kind of fight do you think he's going to give you? I know he's going to come forward, you know. He's going to throw hands, trying to take me down. That's his game. He's a wrestler. So, pretty much it. Come forward, trying to take me down, you know. Hold me on the ground. That's, that's his plan. Do you anticipate it going the three rounds, or do you think you can finish him pretty quick? I think I'm going to finish him. I don't know what round, but probably first, second round, you know, that's, that's I've, been, I've been thinking, you know. Are you thinking about rankings coming into this fight? I mean, if you beat him, do you feel like you deserve a ranking? Do you feel like you have to do something special? No, I deserve the ranking. I've been come from three finish in the row, three performance. You know, I was in the top 15. He's a top 14. You know, uh, for sure, man, after I finish him, I deserve to, to to fight with somebody on the top 10, for sure. Why do you think that um, it hasn't happened yet? Why haven't you been able to fight in the top 10? Uh, I think because it took so long, you know, it was a year, my last fight. So that's that's why, because if I keep keep competing, you know, I will get that, that chance, if, you know. Are you hoping after this fight you'll be able to fight again pretty quick, or did you you think you might want to take more time? I know no, that's what I'm hope hope to fight right away. You know, if it, they wanna give me a fight for next month, I will be here. You know, because I'm 34 right now, I have no time to lose. You know, uh, yeah, man, the next two years will be will be will be my years. So after that, you know, you know, fight's not easy, but yeah, I, I'm trying to fight as soon as possible. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Bruno, for taking the time. Yes, sir. Just to kind of piggyback of what you're talking about with Amy, you, you mentioned the wrestling with Cody. We know that's going to be a factor. How has that been part of the game plan leading up to this bout on Saturday? That you, did you change anything? Did you tweak anything? Different partners? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're we're training specific for this guy. So I bring a, gr a grappler to train with me. You know, we do like specific drills, specific. Just specific, you know, what Cody do, my guy has to do, you know. So that's that's my folks. Specific training, you know, and the wrestling and in every single part of the game, you know, striking and everything. And you mentioned the striking because sometimes when two guys start to wrestle or grapple, it kind of cancels out. Do you think that you have the edge if it goes to a Muay Thai fight, if it starts to just be straight up boxing? Yes, man, that's, that's what I hope. I hope he strike with, with me more, you know, and then that's what the people want to see more striking, you know. We know like uh, they like grappler, but they prefer striking. So I hope he strike with me, you know. That'd be awesome. That'll really make it such a fun fight. And also that layoff, I know that this is your craft. You're, you're just as much of a professional athlete as you are an artist, but I know there's a part of you that just misses it. Was there anything good from the layoff? To heal something, recover, mental break, anything? No, for sure. I feels like uh, I feel as I I feel as I was like always compete. I always act, you know, because I was supposed to fight September. I was supposed supposed to fight in May. So I was always getting prepared for the fight. But it was always something happening. I couldn't fight, but I was always improved by that time. You know, I'm, I was talk to my friend. I was like, man, I was training for the whole year, and then the times go so fast, you don't realize, you know. But I feel like I'm improved because I'm, I was there on the gym every day, you know. Does that help a little bit with the frustration that you know that you're not just sitting there waiting? You're getting better, fixing things, perfecting, or maybe not perfecting too much. No, exactly, exactly. And then I also moved from, from um, I was in Arizona. I moved to Florida, so it was a different gym, different partners. I start to learn different games, different 
with the different fighters, you know, for sure that's that's helped me a lot, you know, with like see different techniques, you know. Yeah, I feel I feel I improve my game in this time. And that's a great thing to hear because you know when fighters make that move, you kind of have to take that like a little leap of faith and hope it all goes good. What triggered that? What caused that move from Arizona all the way to almost a coast to coast? Was so many things about Florida, like so many good things. You know, first I'm from Brazil. Florida is right next to Brazil. For I go to see my family is like pretty quick. You know, uh, the weather I feels like kind of a little better. You know, by the beach. Also, the gym is like a it's a big gym. It's number one in the world, so it's good too. And also, I pay less in this new gym. You know, it's like a, I have a more people and then I pay less. So, in also the tax in Florida as well, you know, so <laughs> it's like six, seven things up about Florida that, that's good for me. So, why not move to a better place? But I still miss in Arizona a lot. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's smart money. That's, yeah. a, that's a growing fighter. That's so, so great that you're able to put all that together. Uh, last for me, how has Vegas been? Because, you know, the Arizona heat is pretty bad, but our heat is horrible. Did you get to use the PI at all? Go to Mount Charleston for some, you know, uh, cardiovascular training? What you do? Yeah, yeah, I don't complain, man. I love, I love the heat. You know, I'm from Brazil. I'm always used to with the heat. You know, I, I don't really like the cold weather, so that's perfect for me. You know, I really love it. And then it's like a dream. You know, I mean, I grow up here about Vegas. You know, and then now I'm here. You know, I'm living my dream. You know, every time I come here, I have a great memories. So it's yeah, man, just living my dream. Is this kind of like one of the things on the bucket list as a professional fighter, you have to fight here, right? Like Madison Square Garden, California maybe, Staples Center, but Las Vegas has to be like one of the, the things you have to do before you retire. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Vegas is, like, is the capital of fighting, right? So every single fighter dream to fight here one day, and then I got, I think, five fights here because I wasn't the ultimate fighter. 2015 Brazil so I also fought here twice so that's my this is my place to fight but I can't fight anywhere you know well that's awesome congratulations for, for coming here to Vegas and can't wait to see you on Saturday good luck yeah thank you very much sir I have one for one more for you um I noticed that you were already scheduled to fight Cody before and he was pulled from the fight is there any fear that that could happen again or, or you feel that it confident that this fight's going to go forward no, I'm confident that's going to happen now because he's already here, you know. So we're training the same gym. In the last week, he was not there. I was like, what is the guy? I mean, what is the guy? I hope he's not hurt, you know. But he went back to his city. But now it's going to happen. I hope, I hope, I really hope, you know. But, yeah, for sure it's going to happen. Is that awkward, having to fight somebody that you are going to see in the gym next week? Yes. In the beginning, it was awkward, you know. But now, after, after a month, you get used to, you know, it's like, the, the gym is big, you know, so different different partner trainers, so it's all good. Thank you. Uh, Bruno, I just wanted to hear your thoughts on the state of the flyweight division. You have Pantoja as the king. Not too many guys really lined up right now to get a title shot, so how do you kind of view the top of this division? Oh, man, the division is pretty open. I can see, you know, I, I just saw the, the guy number eight from Australia. He just uh, fought for the title, you know, so I think it's pretty open. The, f the flyweight division is like any guy on the top 15 can fight for the title and win the title, you know. It's so close right there at the level, you know. I, that's what I'm feeling, man. If I, after this win, you know, I get it. If I fight for the top 10, I feel like this year, next year, I can fight for the title, you know. And what are your thoughts on Pantoja? Because he's continued to establish this really impressive resume, but it doesn't seem like he's getting the respect he deserves. Uh, no, Pantoja is a tough guy, you know, you can see he's coming forward, he's, he's bringing the fight, you know, but like I said, it's very close right there, I mean, every single fight, fighter is like, can be the champ in our division, you know, it's like, uh, we train together sometimes, you know, like, I was with Henry Sehud as well, so, yeah, man, the level's pretty close, you know, so, yeah, anything can happen in this division. And last question for me, I was just wondering going into this fight, what is the level of pressure you feel compared to the one going into the JP buys fight where, you know, you're coming off two losses, maybe your job's on the line. Now coming off three wins, you can kind of just go in there and let loose. Exactly, exactly, man. Like uh, bef 
way before that, man, I, was, I think it was pressure, you know, because I wanted, I was coming here with no money, you know, like fighting. In 2016, um, I was I was in nine, I was six victors in a row. I was nine two. I wasn't the ultimate fighter, and then uh, I fought here with the tourist visa, and then I uh, got caught, and then they I, they depart me to Brazil. So I was I was training for like nine years, and then with no money, you know. And then one day my mom asked me like, "You're gonna, st st you still want to do that?" And then that was a pressure because. I would have no money, you know. I couldn't come back to the United States. I was, uh, I was feeling a lot. But right now, man, now I have no pressure in me. I got, you know, got a little m money in the bank, you know. I'm come from three victories, three performance. You know, I'm just so so excited, man. Just, just happy. I feel no pressure at all. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. That, that's it. Good. Obrigado. Obrigado.